This is David Laws, LSBF's lecturer in ACCA P3, the business analysis paper, going through how to answer an exam question in 10 easy steps, step nine. Now, in the June 2011 question one, the one that we've been looking at, there is a part A, there is a part B. One of the key skills to passing the exam is seeing any connections between them. So, what does part B want us to do? It says, here is a strategy, outsourcing. Is it a good idea? Look at the advantages and the disadvantages of it. To do this, you would use suitability, feasibility, acceptability. It's a standard model that you use. Fair enough. But what do we mean by suitability? Suitability... Are you building on your strengths? Are you fixing your weaknesses? Are you exploiting opportunities? Are you reducing any threats? But what did you do in part A? In part A, you did opportunities and threats because you looked at the outside world. So in part A, you've said, here are some threats. So in part B, and does this strategy minimise them? In part A, you did some opportunities in part B, does your strategy exploit those? So you need to link the two bits together. Now, I've highlighted in red something that we've already seen. We saw this in an earlier step. The government is giving businesses tax incentives to switch to electric cars. Fair enough. That was an opportunity. We did that in part A. If we outsource, we can build more cars. If we can build more cars, we can exploit the opportunity because we can sell more products. There is an opportunity. Electric cars should be more popular. We will have more electric cars for people to buy. So that makes it suitable. It's exploiting that opportunity. Another one we saw. In a particular country, it was a prosperous, developed country with a well-educated population. And we said that was an opportunity because they are more likely to be interested in an electric car, which is good for the environment. If we outsource, what happens to people's opinion of us? So we're now making cars abroad. Would they still think of us in the same way? Again, I haven't really looked at it during these videos, but one of the things that you see in part A is people are proud of the fact that cars are made in the country. If they're outsourced, they're not going to be proud of that because they're going to be made somewhere else. So is that exploiting an opportunity? No, it isn't. So is this strategy suitable? Feasibility. If we had some financial information in part A, we could use it. For example, a common thing that you get in the exam is you get a little balance sheet. You get a little profit and loss account. In this particular one, we don't get that. It's one of the few where we don't. But if you had a little balance sheet, you could look at their gearing because do they have any money? You could perhaps look at their current ratio. What happens if they need to invest in anything? Now, in this one, we can't do it, but often you will find in part A, there is a weakness. Their gearing is very high. So in part B, their gearing is very high. We can't invest even though we would like to. Acceptability. In part A, EcoCar receives significant government grants, significant government subsidies, that was an opportunity. Fine. And what happens if we outsource? If we outsource, people overseas are getting jobs, not people in the country. So what happens to the subsidies? Would the government actually take them away? Would you lose that opportunity? The government would potentially be a keep satisfied. It might even be a key player. Would they agree with what you are trying to do? The chances are almost certainly no. They're giving you grants to employ people, and you're now going to shift production overseas. They may not be very happy about that. So, it is very important in step nine that we link together part A and part B. You told me this, I used this in part A, and now it comes back again in part B. In part A, you told me this, it was important because, in part B, and if you do this strategy, it will be affected in this way. So it's a good idea, 
or maybe it's a bad idea.